Hello, uh, in this video, I want to demonstrate uh, most important uh, features that we get from AI models. So this is a business case uh, that, that can be used for businesses. You can also use it even as an individual uh, to consult these AI models as an expert so that you can get insights from your documents, it could be company documents, or just reports that you have interest in uh, from the internet. All right, so there are so many models that are coming up, but we have the most prominent ones, the chat GPT, which actually, you know, broke uh, the, 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 the scene for these uh, AI models. Then we have uh, Jemin from Google, which was uh, released uh, recently as a, as a, as a full uh, model, uh, migrating from the experimental model uh, Google Bad. Then we also have Coral from Core here, and we have uh, Microsoft Copilot, which basically uses uh, the OpenAI model which is popular known as a uh, chat GPT. So I will demonstrate with these three, Jamin, Core here, and Copilot. So to start with, I'm going to be using uh, Jamin. Now, I want to be accessing documents that are saved in my Google Drive. Okay, so let me just open my Google Drive here. Uh, you can organize your documents in folders, subfolders. So here um, I'm opening my unclassified folder where I have saved a report. It's the social economic impact of AI in healthcare. That's the 2020 report from Meditech Europe. So that's the report that I want uh, to ask my AI models to get inside, give me the insights, give me the summaries of it. I've got no time to go over the whole document. Okay. So now let me head over to my uh, Jamin. Because I want to access my Google Workspace, I'm going to come over settings here. Then there is the extensions feature. Let me click that. So this will list all the extensions that Jamin can actually uh, connect it to so that you can get more um, experience out of your model. So I'm interested in the Google Workspace that gives me access to my Google Drive, my documents, my emails. So make sure that uh, this button is turned on. So if it's off, you just click it, then uh, you'll be asked to give consent through your email. So mine is on already. So once that is done, I go to the new chat window there. And now I can type in my prompt. I'm interested in the summary for the social economic impact of AI in the healthcare report. So let me put in that, that uh, prompt. So summarize the following document for me, the social economic uh, impact of AI. Uh, I can put in uh, further specifications. Let me say, I want the most uh, important insights. Insights in bullet form. So I don't want a long paragraph that I may not, uh, that I may struggle reading. So I want it in bullet form. So we can just hit enter once we are satisfied with our prompt.
So there is the response generated for us. Uh, Meditech Euro report on the social economic impact of AI in healthcare 2020. Uh, so those are the points. We get the important aspects in terms of uh, uh, the financials there, annual savings uh, that speak to the, the European uh, healthcare systems. Then we also have some other important uh, applications there, like the wearable AI, uh, cost savings also specified. Then just the, the risk uh, awareness also factored in there, the data privacy, security, and so on. So that's the summary of the document. So if you're pressed for time, there you are, you've consulted your AI model uh, just in limited time. So that's it about the Google Gemin. We can keep on asking further uh, questions, uh, digging in, and we continue to get more insights. So Gemin is interacting directly with our, with our document. Okay, so let me just copy this same prompt so that I can now use it on my next model. So let me head over to Cora. So this is another model from uh, Core here. Now we have got the chat only feature. You can chat uh, with the web, Cora with web page. Uh, you can have Cora with documents. So because I want to be using a document, so I can click the document feature there. So here, uh, I've got a space to upload my files. So this is different, Jamin, because it's from Google, you can directly access my Google workspace. Uh, so for me to use the same document that I was talking about, I can access it from a folder where I've saved it. So I just downloaded this document from the internet. Uh, as you can see. Now, I've already uploaded it here. So to upload a document, you simply drag it and drop it in this space. And you can put as, as, as much documents as you want. Okay, so I already have my document here. So what I can do now, I can come over uh, the chat window here and I simply paste my prompt because I already have it. Uh, from Jamin. So yeah, there we are. Let me hit enter and see. Okay, so there is the, the summary that I'm getting. Key insights from the social economic impact of AI in healthcare report. Uh, those are the points. And you see, it's already generating some questions uh, that can help me extract more information from this report. What ethical considerations should be taken into account when using AI in healthcare? So that's so interesting. So I can simply appraise uh, that to accept it. And Cora will extract those for me. So there we are, lots of information uh, coming in. I didn't generate uh, that second prompt, but it was auto suggested to me from Coral. Fine, so that's it uh, from Jamin, Coral. And lastly, I want to demonstrate using uh, Microsoft Core Pilot. Okay, let's head over to Microsoft Edge. So this is my Microsoft Edge browser and um, I'm, I'm, I'm signed in already so, so that I can access uh, the features from Copilot and other Microsoft uh, AI uh, applications. So here is my, uh, my details for the document that I want to search. I want to search for this uh, PDF uh, document 
the socioeconomic impact of AI on healthcare report of 2020 from MedTech Euro. So let me just hit enter and see um, if I'll be able to locate that document. So uh, yeah, I think that's the first one. Let's just click and see. Yes, uh, that's our report. We can just uh, browse through. It's a 48 page uh, document with uh, loads of information. So probably I'm rushing uh, for some meeting and I want some, some, some key insights from this report. So I can check here on the co-pilot feature. So this is a Microsoft uh, co-pilot feature that will help me to interact with this PDF. So these are the different uh, modes that you can choose uh, in a technical you know, perspective. This is called the, the temperature. Um, but anyway, let's not worry much about that. So let's just use the balanced uh, mode here so that we can be able to, to get some balanced uh, feedback from our model. So let me just paste the prompt uh, that I already have. So I'm interested in the summary from the document, uh, the socioeconomic impact of AI in healthy care, 2020 report from Bureau of Magic. So let me just uh, say currently shown in the open uh, browser tab right. just to add more context so that my model would know that uh, this document is actually open in this uh, browser tab so i want the most important insights in bullet form so let me just hit enter and see whether uh, our model will be able to extract some information from our document So that's the summary we are getting. Wow, so interesting. That's the summary. We have not read the document and already we are getting some key insights out of it. We can just check for these facts uh, that we are receiving. All right. Yeah, so that's it. You can continue asking more questions uh based on this report and you get feedback so already we have uh, some uh, insights here so you can click on these auto generated uh, questions and you can also choose if you want to actually get to the web for some of of these key insights but in general this is how you can quickly get a summary uh, from your PDF uh, documents, so that is for those that are on the on the on the, on the web already. So your Microsoft Copilot will be able to access uh, your opened tabs and give you information. So thank you for your time and bye.